Cheers, guys. English Labisco here. So, yeah, my voice may sound funny and stuff, but listen. I've got a very important video for all you folks out there. All you mates. Listen up and take my word for it. You know, I've always been thinking, you know, back in the good old day. Did you know that 2018, 2000... 17, 2016, 2015, all those years were such a bad time to be alive, to be living, to even exist. Well then, when were the good old days, you may ask? I will point out specific dates for you all. In my opinion, the best years that ever happened to one person was during about, like, get this, 2005 to 2010, period. There were like no, no better times. You know, the world reached the high point during those years. And then guess what? We came crashing down a few years later. And look where we are right now in 2018. Exactly. This is rubbish! How could this happen? Well, why were the 2005, 2010, why were they so good? I've got the perfect reasons for all of you, mates. Alright, so we get into music. Oh boy, aren't they much better than all the crap that comes out today? All the frickin' frickin' crap! Hmm... What music came out? Say, I'm going to tell you! Hot and Cold by Katy Perry, Crazy by Girls Barkley, Just The Way You Are by Bruno Mars, Hey Dirty Liar, which is my personal favorite, by Plain White Tees, and who in the right mind could ever forget Baby by Justin Frickin' Bieber? Exactly. And then look at what comes out today. Anything good? Absolutely frickin' not. What a pile of rubbish that is. What a pile of bloody crap that comes out today. And then, which brings me to my next point. YouTube. Ah, oh, you know, the good old days of YouTube, you know. Back when everything was so pure, just so amateurish. Back when everything didn't have to be so cinematic and so polished to the point where, the, where it's like a freaking movie or something. See. Back in the good old days, there ain't no frickin' clickbait thumbnails with all those circles and arrows pointing everywhere on the screen. There were none, none of that bloody crap. But what we had were just pure gold. Pure YouTube gold. We had bloody duck song trolling on a low. Charlie bit my finger and the annoying orange. Frick. Those videos were amazing! I grew up with those videos! And I could never, as a, as a 2000s kid, I could never, ever forget those pure, amazing, just wonderful, absolutely, vi yeah, those videos! And then, how about the annoying orange day? That's still a thing. It's crap! It's just for little kids now! How about movies? I don't really know, honestly, because I honestly didn't watch too many movies, maybe. But I do probably remember a two, two or three movies that came out during the time period. They were Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, Megamind, and Wally. Now let's get into uh, Megamind Feist. It was the first movie I ever watched in the frickin' theater! In the cinema! Do you understand me? 
It was freaking amazing. Of course, maybe I don't really like it too much nowadays because it's kind of like boring and stuff, but still. And then, and then there came like cloudy with a chance of meatballs. You watch it outside, the, the, you know, the outside cinema with the park. That's where I watched it. It was freaking magic. All oh, these big, uh, these, these bloody huge food things attacking people and stuff. It was amazing. 2009, I tell you. And then we get to Wally. Frickin' bloody Wally! It was the best movie ever! Now, don't get me wrong, oh, it's for little kids and stuff. Sure, it may be, but, but listen, don't you know it's basically a commentary on how the world is loaded and stuff, and you understand this? It's, a, it's just a little, it's just a commentary. Yeah. And guess what? It kind of happened, you know? People walking around with their smartphones in their faces all the time. There was a lack of communication on Wally. Absolutely! Do you think any human being on the freaking street talked to each other in that movie? It's kind of accurate! Ten years later! Which brings me... to technology. Oh, brother. This... 2005 to 2010 was the best freaking time for freaking bloody technology! Windows Vista! Anybody remember Windows Vista? Sure, it didn't run so well on some computers, but that thing was freaking radical! Remember all the transparent effects and all those games and just that Satan charm that I just can't even explain? The late 2000s charm? Exactly! It's so good, I can't even explain it! Windows 7! Oh, gosh! Even better, too! With still, it had transparency and all that stuff! Yeah! And it ran better, everybody liked it! And then they came out with Windows 8 in 2012. What a mess! What a mess! Why does everything have to be flat and transparent? So Microsoft tried to fix it with Windows 10, but I don't think they're succeeding. You can never, ever defeat the aesthetics of Windows Vista and 7! Do you understand me? They are absolutely timeless! How about iOS? Back in the good old days when everything looked realistic. I'm talking about, you know, the first one until, like, uh, iOS 6, I believe. No, I, I really haven't used an iPhone a lot, but uh, I've been there to know how much they've changed. You know, nowadays, iOS is flat and ugly and boring, just like Windows. No, just like every operating system out there. It's, it, it, why? All right, how about we talk about the Nintendo DS? The best, the best handheld ever, probably. I don't know, but listen, you know, I can never forget playing New Super Mario Bros. and Mario Party DS on that console. It was amazing. How about the Wii? The Wii, oh my gosh. A time capsule brings me all the way back to bloody 2006. Well, no, the models and controls, maybe they're gimmicky, but I don't fucking care. It brought people together. I can never forget Wii Sports or Mario Kart Wii on that. I could never, ever forget all the good times I had. So, how about the Xbox 3 and the P PS3? Well, guess what? I honestly haven't played those really much, but I know that they were groundbreaking. You know, you know, they had 1080p HD in 2005 and 2006. Are they doing 8K on consoles right now after 2018? Maybe they're doing it sometime in the future, but no. 
It was like, if you watch any video on YouTube back in those days, they were like 480p at best, and they had 1080p on the freaking Xbox 360 and the PS3. I'm not saying that uh, it's bad, that modern consoles are bad, but uh, yeah. And all, guess what? All people play nowadays is freaking mobile games. What has the world to come to? I'm not saying that, that new consoles are bad. I'm saying back in those days, it meant so much to be a gamer. People were proud of it. People were so passionate about video games, and they're not anymore. All right. It's, it's terrifying just to see. And then we get to the social issues that happen today. I just wonder why? Why? Why do people have to be killing themselves, beating themselves, beating each other, killing, killing each other? Why do they have to do that today? Why? I, it, it, it don't make no sense to me. They're just killing each other. Exactly. Don't you see what's going on in the world today? This is, this is so serious. Wake up. Back in the day, people were united. I hate to talk about 9-11 in such a positive, like, manner, but it brought people together, apparently. And that's what we need. We need people together during these times. How about people are saying to the president, Oh, you will not divide us. You will not divide us. I don't want to be, listen. The president is not dividing us. We, we, we people, we citizens, we are the ones who are dividing ourselves. Do you not understand? When the president's not the one fighting with, with the people, they're not, he's not fighting us. We're fighting ourselves. It's not copalypse. It's absolutely a Boss, it, it, it's, it's atrocious. How about back in the little good old days, as a little child, I was just skipping around, and I could do whatever I want. You know? Or, okay, maybe not whatever I want, but I could just do anything without worrying what people would say. Because they wouldn't, they wouldn't harass me. They wouldn't do anything to hurt me. Well, maybe some did, but it wasn't everybody. It wasn't the majority of the people. How about today? I can hardly go to school without work. They'll be laughed at. And who, who will arrest me? Do you understand me? It's a living nightmare going to school every day with all people hating. I cannot stand this anymore. The world is cold and dark, and I, I have no faith in humanity. I don't think we will ever, ever be peaceful with each other ever again. It's too late. I just want to give a few moments to just tell anybody who is watching this video. Fancy, you need to watch this video, make it all the way to the end. But listen. We can't be like this anymore. We cannot be fighting each other, killing each other. We just can't do that anymore. We have to go back to when we were united. When we were together, we were there for each other. We, we were just, we, you know, listen, you know. It seems like back in the good old days, mid to, to late 2000s, that people would go out of their way to, to help one another. How about today? They just go out of their way to harm somebody. 
you know. Listen, I've heard of a man drowning and people just record him while he drowns and they don't do anything to help him. They, sh no, they, they show no signs of concern. They're just laughing at this man who died, who, who was dying. This is why I have no faith in humanity. They didn't help a man who was drowning for his dear life, and he died. All while they were laughing and recording him like that. Do you see what I mean? Oh, there's a dead body. I'm going to take a selfie with it. Oh, there's a person who's drowning. I'm going to take a selfie with him. That's how it is nowadays. Well, we need to stop this. 